Hey everybody, how you doing? Mark here, out on Angel. Yes, she is back on the road. I know I've been doing a lot of videos with Mercy lately. Mercy is my 2022 Vulcan Voyager. Angel here is a 2007 Vulcan 1600 Classic. She is 17 years old this year and has over 80,000 miles. I do want to give a quick update on her and that uh, if you've seen my last few videos on Mercy, you may have heard me talking about how I found an oil leak here on Angel and that the uh, repair was going to be a couple thousand dollars because they would have to drop the motor to get to the top part of a um, oil uh, line well i think i didn't read the uh, clues good enough because i said i found this pool of oil sitting on top of my crankcase just after I gave her her uh, winterizing wash and there was a bunch of other dust and debris you know it's not an area that I really get down and scrub or anything like that and so The other, uh, you know, basically all that dust and debris, I think, just kind of mixed with the water, made kind of a, a sludgy uh, mud, basically. And it had kind of a look of oil. Well, anyway, to keep going, and my mind kept playing tricks on me, the oil line that I thought was leaking has a um, what is it it's a uh, it's an encased oil line so it's got like a, a metal weave that goes around the the line but the thing is, is that that reinforced hose has you know that that metal that goes around it is kind of like a shiny black and when my light was hitting it just the very slight movements of my hand moving the light around made it look like there was oil trickling down on those weaves and luckily that wasn't the case You know, so yeah, I just misread all the signs that I had seen, making me think there was an oil leak. Um, I really wanted to check it out. I wanted to make sure that what was going on was going on. So I got down there underneath the uh, uh, underneath the seat on top of the crankcase where I saw that puddle, and there's a bunch of that dirt sitting there, which. By the way the dirt looked, it looked like it was kind of encased in oil as well. You know, it was very pasty looking. So anyway, I got down there, pressure washed all of it out of there, got it looking really good, jumped on Angel, went for a ride. And after an hour worth of riding, I got back home and I spent some time just looking around that general area. And I did not see anything that warranted or that signaled oil. So I keep on forgetting that it's 25 through this little area. <laughs> Doesn't speed up until just after this last driveway here. Anyway, so yeah, after an hour worth of riding, I saw no evidence of an oil leak at all on Angel. So that. <laughs> That was a, uh, a 
a big relief you know I don't have to look at getting a $200 oil line hose and then spending another couple thousand dollars in labor just to have it installed so yeah that's a big relief to me but I am still out on Angel as you can see I'm not always going to be out on Mercy I haven't given up riding this bike but I will tell you there are some major differences <laughs> between this bike and Mercy you know there's yeah there's just so much and I might actually do that I might actually go out and make a video and I got it what I think might be an actual fun way of doing it it's just going to take a little while for me to process it all together and everything like that but I got an idea on what I want to do really somebody threw a bunch of tires there so hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll have kind of a side-by-side -side ride comparison against the two bikes you know what what do I have on this bike what do I have on the other bike and what's different between them and all that other stuff so you can look forward to that video coming out Let's see what else do we got going on oh I put in a as far as work goes um, from one of my last videos you might have heard that I mentioned that my supervisor has left the department she stepped down as a supervisor and she's completely gone leaving me to be the only full-time employee of that department and how my manager wants me to step up and take over and be that uh, supervisor and I don't want it I've been a supervisor before I just don't want it well I put in for a transfer I talked to the person in charge of the, uh, this other department and he likes me he likes my work ethic as well I talked to one of the lower ranked managers but still has the uh, power to kind of push the uh, thing through because our general manager is actually out on vacation right now well she took the request put it in the system I got into work um, I think it's probably about a week and a half ago now and I was told that HR wanted to see me about my transfer and I said okay went in saw HR talked to her for a little while and she wants to know why I put in for the transfer you know what is it that I don't like about my current department and all this other stuff and so I sat there and I was telling her you know I'm doing all this other work on top of my regular work that I would do right. slow down a little bit more it looked like there was a lot of gravel there but maybe it wasn't anyway so yeah I sat there and I was telling her you know I don't want to be in charge I don't want to be the one that's left accountable for things not getting done or getting done incorrectly or anything like that I don't want to sit here and tell people what to do or how to do it or anything like that and I think probably about three days later I was talking with my manager who has been giving me kind of like reports on what happens during my days off you know stuff that I would never have been told in the past but now all of a sudden he feels he needs to come up and tell me you know so and so called in and you know over the last couple of days this was done and this was done basically treating me like I would be a supervisor 
and yeah I just I don't like this I really don't well now the general manager has gotten word that I want to step down and I don't think she likes that very much either because she knows that if I leave the department the department is really screwed because then all she has is a couple of part-timers and she doesn't want that so she wants to now talk to me before the transfer is put through to know why I don't want to stay in the department <laughs> oh, yeah it's it's just been a thing and she doesn't get back from her vacation until next week so I've got a little while that I'm still gonna be in this this current department I, I might even be the fact that she won't accept my transfer and she says no you're gonna have to stay where you're at that's quite the possibility but you know if that's the case then I don't know how to handle you know this whole thing of them coming up and treating me like a supervisor you know I'm not getting paid to be a supervisor I'm not getting paid all the extra money but they're still treating me like one so ah, the joys of life the dramas of living and working and you know I don't understand how people can sit there and think that everybody wants to have these lofty goals of running things and being in charge and always rising above their station and I just don't you know I want to come in do my job do it well do it correctly and leave that's what I want well, <laughs> all right well this is Mark saying thanks again for coming along and listen to me uh, talk for a little bit tell you about some difficulties I'm having with my job which it, again it's not a hard job it's just I don't want to do what they want me to do and that's be a supervisor thanks for listening to my update on Angel it's great news I am very pleased with it you know I can go out on rides and pretty much not worry about her I gave her a oil change and that was the other clue that there was actually nothing going on is I gave her an oil change and the amount of oil that came out is the correct amount of oil I actually measured it to make sure that I had 3.8 quarts and that's exactly what I had so new oil new filter she's all good to go the uh, uh, screen was removed and cleaned out so yeah as far as the oil change goes she's good for a year and yes I only change the oil once a year well this is Mark saying thanks again for coming along listen to me talk always believe in yourself heart soul mind and body Bye, guys.